So I'll first start by talking a little bit about follicular lymphoma in general. When I meet someone who's been recently diagnosed with follicular lymphoma, I explain to them that this is the most common type of indolent lymphoma. Uh, this is a lymphoma that tends to grow slowly. Uh, oftentimes they are diagnosed just with incidental findings of some lumps that might have been pal uh, palpable, they could feel sometimes in the neck or armpit or groin that have just been there for a long time and they might start to grow slowly and a biopsy happens and under the microscope we see that it's this cancer of white blood cells, uh, typically a slow growing cancer uh, known as uh, follicular lymphoma. The diagnosis is made by a hematopathologist, a specialized pathologist who uh, can make these diagnoses of blood cancers. So follicular lymphoma is usually diagnosed with a biopsy. Usually it's a biopsy of a lymph node uh, that might be enlarged. And as mentioned, uh, it's made by an expert uh, pathologist in the area because lymphomas are quite complicated actually. And it's important to make sure that not only you make the right diagnosis of lymphoma, but the right subtype because the treatment is really quite different. When I meet someone who's newly diagnosed, we talk about something called staging, uh, which is how we sort out where the lymphoma is located. Is it causing any problems? That often will include imaging, such as a CT scan or a PET CT scan. Uh, typically labs will be done to make sure there's no uh, impact on organ function or blood counts. Um, and then we'll obviously examine and talk to uh, my patients and try to understand is there any impact to their quality of life that we might be able to uh, blame on this follicular lymphoma? So we put all that information together and we may put together then a treatment plan, uh, which might even just be observation if there are really no problems that are being caused. So one big question, one common question is what is this, what is the impact of this diagnosis going to be on my life? Not only quality of life, but also longevity. And I think now that we know a lot more about the biology of follicular lymphoma, and we have many more treatments available if they're needed, and we'll talk a little bit more about those later, we understand that the vast majority of those diagnosed with follicular lymphoma should have a normal lifespan. Uh, so that's really kind of a very gratifying and I think comforting statement to, that I can make to my patients, which is different than I was saying, say, 10 years ago. Um, so most patients will have, uh, be expected to have a normal lifespan. And with that in mind, we try to make sure that uh, we maintain quality of life. So that's a major goal. Strictly uh, in terms of prognosis, there is something called the Follicular Lymphoma International Prognostic Index. That's the most commonly quoted one, and that's how we, we can prognosticate. But it's important to keep in mind that these data are based on patients that were diagnosed decades ago. Uh, and treatment now and approaches now are really quite different. There's some other prognostic scales that give similar information as well. 